Hi guys, welcome to Bare Fit. I'm Steve and I'm your coach today. We're based here today in Auckland, New Zealand. Now normally I do regular boot camps online and offline, but today I'm gonna to be coming to you with an epic ab finisher that I always utilize in my boot camps. Now, what's awesome about this ab workout that we're gonna be doing today, it's gonna to be activating your upper abs, so your rectus abdominis, and also your bottom abs, your transverse abdominis. So it really gives you an overall functional kind of ab burn. Now you can use this as part of a workout, you can use this on, your, on its own, um, and, and you, or you can just fit little bits of this into your daily life whenever you need to. Couple of tips before we get into this workout. Really focus on tension, so really focus on squeezing through the abs and breathing while you do so, and avoiding using your back, okay? Now we're gonna go through 14 different exercises, 45 seconds on, only 15 seconds off, so it's going to burn. I'm going to run you through. I'm going to do it live, so I feel the burn as well. You ready? All right, Let's team. Get before going. any workout, don't forget to have a little warm up. Okay, we're going to get straight into this now because I've already done a workout. But if this is the first time you're doing it, just take a bit of time, just mobilise and do a couple of squats, push-ups, running on the spot, and some stretches. Okay. So let's get into our first exercise. We're going to do a wide mountain climb. It's going to activate the abs and get you going. You ready, team? Three. Time is on. Two, one. Let's go. So coming down. Get into position, nice streamlined core, drive that right elbow to the outside. You'll notice you feel it on the outside of those abs. Squeeze, keep those arms straight as you drive across. All right, this is the first one, relax that neck. Remember, the whole point of this is to really just feel those abs turned on. You want to get turned on, ready to go, okay? So keep pushing, arms straight, relax the neck, really drive it, wait for that whistle. Remember, it's 45 seconds on. 15 seconds off. We only go through each exercise once, so it's a good opportunity to burn it out. Burn. Keep it going. How are we doing for time? Three, two, one, and recover. Okay, next one you're gonna love. This is called the forearm leg extension. So we want you to come onto your forearms like this, and you're gonna bring your knees into your chest and out nice and slow, squeezing those abs. You ready? Two, one, let's go, just coming in, squeeze out, and back, in, and out. Again, as you come out, breathe in. Perfect, out, in. Always really important with this. Really feel that squeeze in those abs. 20 seconds to go. Start to feel it now, yeah? Hope so. <laughs> 10 seconds. Come on, legends. Great little burner. As you bring the legs down, squeeze through those lower abs. Three, two, one, rest. Now this one gets a bit more extreme. So what you're gonna do this time, you can lay back, and you're gonna drive the legs up and clap. Back down, get just above the ground, back up and clap. You ready? Two, one, let's go up. Clap down nice and slowly. So you can obviously have your head above the ground or on the ground, whatever's comfortable for you. Again, squeeze as much as you can. Get nice and deep. Up, clap. Well done, team. Looking really good. Hold, clap. Exhale, back. Again, you can do this anytime. You can cut the time if you need to. So if you only can do 30 seconds, that's fine. 10, nine, you can even do longer. I'm starting to feel this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yes. Oh, how's everyone doing? Okay, this one's called a Russian twist. So you're gonna be sitting up like so. I want you to elevate your feet. All right, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna twist side to side. You ready? Two, one, hands together, just twist. Again, this should get lower abs, as well as out into the obliques as well. Really good conditioning exercise, especially if you try to increase your core strength. You know when you do squats with weights and you wanna kinda of increase that strength so you can perform better, this would be a great one for doing that. Keep holding, team, keep holding. Burn it out. Go as hard as you can. How's everyone doing, all right? Start to feel the burn, yeah? 10 seconds. Go until you can't go anymore. Come on, team, squeeze. 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. It burns, but it's worth it, right? This next one's called a reverse crunch. So we're literally just going to push up, come down a little bit, push it up. But this wet bit is getting to the top part of the abs. Three, two, one. Let's go up. Up. So you remember you're pushing up from the abs, not the hips. The legs come down a little bit, drive it up. So use those abs to feel the burn. Come on, legends. Keep pushing. Again, just do what you can to keep going. If you need a little breather, take one at any point. 15 seconds. Oh my God, this is tough. Five seconds. One, oh, yes. Oh, don't know about you team, that was an absolute burner. All right, I'm just gonna roll it over and do a little plank hold now, just to mix things up. Take the pressure off that side and turn onto the other side. Okay, let's go. So nice, solid plank. Just hold that position. Forearms, just kind of in a bit of a triangle shape. Relax the neck, hands directly under your chin. And just keep that body nice and streamlined. And breathe. 45 seconds, hopefully the abs are feeling a good burn now. This is an awesome ab blowout I do once a week online, as well as face to face as well. You can cut this down, as I said before, into little chunks or do it in one go, just with me right now. So keep pushing, legends, keep going. <sighs> keep giving it everything you got. We have got three, two, one, rest. All right, let's turn back over. called the straight leg tap, okay, or hand to ankle. So what we're gonna do, one leg up, hands behind the head, you're gonna come up, touch your calves or your knees, almost like a half sit up, and just squeeze as you come up. Now if this is too easy, you can do a full sit up and touch the toes or the ankles, whatever's preferred, okay? If you want to get the tension a little bit more and really squeeze through, just come up maybe halfway. Keep that leg up the whole time. Should feel a little bit of tension in the quads. 15 seconds to go. Yes! Good, ready to start these abs. They're burning already. Remember, we've got 14 exercises, team. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we're gonna do the same on the other side, okay? Same on the other side. Grab that leg up. <sighs> Let's get ready. Take a little breather. It's 15 seconds, so enough time to have a little bit of a breather. All right, three, two, one. Let's go. Nice. Up. Okay, crank this up. Again, squeeze as you come up and back. Really feel that tension, that burn. Up, tap and back slowly. 20 seconds to go. Let's go. 15 seconds. Almost there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, good work legends, good work. Now, notice we're getting a bit of a burn, so we're gonna go back onto, this is called the side plank tap. So a little bit different to what you may be normally used to. You're gonna get onto your side like this, onto your one of your forearms, one leg flat on the ground, the other, other, other leg up, onto your hips, hands behind the head, and then we're just gonna tap the elbow to the outside of the knee like this. Cool, and you're just gonna go non-stop until the whistle. Keep those hands on the head, and one hand on the ground, and you're just bringing that knee in, but also you're kind of crunching into it at the same time. So simultaneously moving the elbow and the legs together to, to get that ultimate crunch, keeping those hips up. Oh no, it feels a bit, uh, feels like someone's putting some bricks on your legs. But try and keep holding. It's a good little burner, this one, especially into the lateral side of your leg. 
Let's keep going. Remember, squeeze. Don't rush this one. Squeeze, that's it. And rest. Let's do the same on the other leg. So get into position as fast as you can. Remember, one arm down, one on the head. Bend one of your legs. Let's get those hips up. You ready? Three, two, one, let's go. It's a tap, connect, connect. That's it, perfect. Drive and squeeze. Good work team, really good. Squeeze and back out. Squeeze and back out. Squeeze and back out. You got it, well done. Keep squeezing, keep those leg, that leg up and the hips up. Even if you want to put the hips down, keep them up, squeeze it out. We've only got 10 seconds, let's go. That's it, catch it, catch it. Three, two, and recover. Oh, team, I don't know about you, but that burn. All right, this one's gonna get a bit more explosive. We're gonna go four plank jacks to one tuck, so you're gonna be sweating after this. All right, so four plank jacks to one tuck. I'll show you, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, tuck in, out, okay? And repeat that. Two, three, four, tuck in, out. Notice when you tuck in, bring those hips up. Three, four, bring the hips up and jump back. One, two, three, four, hips up, in, out. One, two, three, four, in and out. Two, three, four, keep pushing. One, two, three, four, keep going team, don't give up. Three, two, one. How was that, how are we feeling? All right team, next one we're gonna go into is some crossover scissor kicks, okay? So you're gonna come onto your back, hands by the side, like so. Legs up, I'm gonna cross them like this. You ready? Go. So cross over, while you're doing this, remember to squeeze those abs constantly all the time. <sighs> cross up and over. Take your time. Remember when it starts to burn, whatever happens, keep the lower back on the ground. So if you need to put your hands under your glutes to protect your back, you can. Let's keep going. <sighs> Cross and control. 15 seconds remaining. Come on team, show us what you got. Let's get those abs absolutely engaged. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, recover. Woo! <laughs> All right, we're almost there team, almost there. Let's do two more. This one, we're gonna do a bike crunch. So stay in that position. Hands on the head, you can drive the knees out and back. You ready? This is gonna burn, because we've just done the scissor kicks. Slow, connect. Just literally hold for as long as you can. Slow, control. This is burning. Oh, team, I'm burning on this one. Just keep going. There we go. Again, just slow and control. Connect that elbow to the inside of the knee. Come on team, nice and slow, just feel that burn. Move side to side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, recover. All right, let's do our last one. We're gonna hold till failure. We're gonna go 45 seconds. All right, firstly what I want us to do on this last one, if you're gonna hold your feet up like this, okay, hands, you can put your hands actually behind your knees. All right, hold that position, feet up, looking forward. All right, and we're gonna go 45 seconds holding that position doing jabs, all right? You ready, team? So let's get ready in three. Oh, we go five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Jabs non-stop, hold it up. Last one of the workout, team, last one, let's go. Don't give up on this one. Absolutely burn. Remember, if you need to put your hands back, put your hands back, hold for a couple of seconds, go again. Whatever you do, don't put the feet down. Lean back, you want to be in a bit of a V hold. 
with those jabs. Keep moving. Let's go all the way. This is the last exercise of the workout. Come on, Meadowbank. Let's do this. 15 seconds. Let's go all the way. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Faster, team. Faster. 3, 2, one and lay back and feel great team well done on that workout you've done amazing if you liked it don't forget to hit subscribe on the barefit tv channel there might be another workout out there that really really fits your goals and what you're trying to achieve all right so again team hope you enjoyed and we'll see you on the next workout take care for now